Hi. Hi guys. This is Joy and I am doing day 14 of I am doing day 14 of Follow a Sketch February. I did make a few changes from yesterday's layout and I wanted to show you the changes that I made and why I made them. So you will remember this sketch from I guess that was today. So I did add a couple things and I'm going to add one more element to this page before I call it done. So what I did was I added the top and the bottom. And the reason I did that was because um, I wanted it, when they set together, I wanted the layouts to be, um, look as though they were designed to be together. I also added a couple tags and besides that, I and um, I, I, I added the stitching. I don't know if you can see the stitching or not. I'm gonna put that up close where you can see it. Since I had um, my, I had the sewing machine available in my house, so I thought I would just add that. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you the second sketch and the layout, and I'm gonna add one more piece. I'm actually. Um, the second layout has a torn piece along here and I'm tearing both pieces at the same time so that they will be so they will match so they will line up so this is a sketch from February 14th and um, I will um, sew these hearts on off screen so uh, I've been trying to really follow the sketches very closely um, the beauty of having a sketch is then you don't have to sit and think about what you're doing. You just go ahead and add it. So here we go. So this layout is, um, and I'll tell you the things that I have added. So the first thing that, that I want to show you, just like this, the page before, you can see this one a little bit better. You can see that I added the grid. Um, and then the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to, in this sketch, you can see that um, there is some details on the top and on the bottom. And that's why I added it on the second page. So the top is a, um, I used the base page's peach. I put the stripe on the top. Ooh, I didn't do a very good job of putting the stripe, stripe on the top. I guess I will put this stripe on the top. This, the, so this strip is one inch and I'm just gonna line it up at the top. It is not torn. So I'm just gonna go ahead and add that at the top. And I love a paper pack that has a stripe. Um, it just adds so much fun and so much detail to your layouts. Okay, so the next part you can see is torn. And I love to tear paper with close to my heart because it has that white core. I'm lining up the two sheets. I did one and then I thought I want to add that to the second page and I'm going to tear it together so that they will match up. So um, they are going to, these will be, this one will be on this side. Yes, I'm trying to think about this. So this one, yes, I guess it doesn't really matter. So I'm going to go ahead and take it. This one is, is torn. Remember, I'm tearing towards me because I want that white core to show. And I will, I hope I brought my toffee paper. Hmm, maybe I didn't. My toffee ink. Well, I guess I won't be adding the toffee. Oh, actually I added, I added that in um, scarlet. So I will, as soon as I um, tear this. So you can see that I'm tearing the white. And this is also one inch that I'm tearing and you can see the core of it. Ooh, even when I'm tearing it at the same time, I'm kind of going crooked. So um, my goal is to do all of the February, follow a sketch February, but I don't know if I'll actually get to all that, but um, I have a long weekend, so I will do as many as I can during the weekend and then um, usually I can do one sketch a week if I'm working. So I won't get to all of them. So I've been kind of picking and choosing 
which ones I had pictures for and the which ones I could line up. So what I'm doing next is, okay, so I'm going to bring my other layout over because I want these to line up. I have two versamats. I'm just going to slide this over a little bit and make sure that they're matching right here. It doesn't have to be perfect. Oh, it's not as perfect as I'd like it to be. If it's not perfect, what you do is you just tear a little bit more. Tearing is not a perfect science. Okay, that's good enough. Those of you who know me know that I am not a perfectionist. So I'm going to glue the, both of those down. And that means the second page is completed. I thought about sewing some more on it, but I, I think... At some point, you have to walk away from the page because you can just keep adding and keep adding. Okay, so that is one completed page today. And I wasn't even scrapbooking all day. Wow. When I go to retreats, I usually finish one two-page layout for the entire weekend. All right, so I'm going to tear that. All right, so this one is, we'll call it done for the books. So then the next one, oh, and actually I'm going to bring this back. I, I forgot. So the other thing that I'm going to have to do is my title is going to go across the page. And the title will say, Together We Have Everything. So I'm going to um, kind of line my stuff up and see how that's going to look before I paste everything down. Okay. Oh, and I also added, did I tell you I added tags? And those are all glued in, but those are all glued and ready to go. And um, I'm going to show you the other thing I need to show you to make sure they're um, holding on and um, lining up. Can you see this? I want to see at the bottom. So at the bottom, this is also torn, and I did this off. I did this off camera. You can see how I've torn that. How I, I did that was I put, whoo, things are falling. Oh, no, you're not going to be able to see that. Um, I put a, a one-inch strip on the back and glued it down, and then I tore um, I tore, tore the cardstock and had it be a white core. Okay, so I've just, all the hearts have come off, so you, um, I'm going to, Cover that up. Keeping people's identity is hidden is very, very difficult. Okay. Anyway, we'll just we'll just do this. I like this. Okay. All right. Can you see this? Okay. So we're back to this page, and the thing that I'm going to line up is, okay. And I need to have. I need to have this. Let me put my parts over there. You tell it's late at night and all right okay so this is my sketch and my sketch is going to be okay. hopefully I'll be able to edit this one okay so my sketch is I'm going to take this is a three by seven. And the stripe, I have a stripe square somewhere. Oh boy, I lost all my pieces. Okay, here's my stripe piece of paper. And it is a three by five. And I'm going to kind of set that right here. If you look at the sketch, it's right here. So actually, this one comes down a little bit lower. This one comes a little bit higher. And the together, the together, um, the together is at about four and a half. 
so my other letters are going to be at four and a half. So I'm going to take my pictures. I'm going to kind of lay everything down, and then I'm going to move things around a little bit, and then I will make a commitment to what I'm doing. I try... Okay, so this is... Okay. So this is going to go here. And then I have my 4 by 6 So there's my doily. I have a 4 by 6 And I have a tag. Actually, I'm going to have two tags. I have a tag here. And I have a tag here. And my 4 by 6 picture, which is probably stuck on the bottom of something. I sure hope I know how to edit for tomorrow, because this the struggle is real. Okay. Is basically right like that. And how am I doing with my sketch? And then I have one more small piece that kind of comes down like this. So now that I have the pieces kind of where I want them to be, can you still see? Um, I am going to go ahead and this is kind of, this is all kind of crooked, but I will line everything up in just a minute and I, I will put something in that tag. So let's see what we're going to do next. Okay. Get this down so you can see a little bit better. All right. So I want to line up my together and I'm going to put the title on because that's the next biggest thing. So I've, I've done that Zyron thing again, and actually, do I want to? Okay. I am going to scoot everything down till about four, and I am going to, I was kind of smart, a little bit smart, and here's my four and a half mark, and if I, I have a line, and I think I am going to use that line as my base. So I'm going to go ahead and put my title on. I'm starting in the middle because I want to center it. So my center is at about six. So I'm going to start with my letter. So the title is Together We Have It All. We have it all. So that's 11 letters. So six would be the middle one. We have okay, so I'm going to start with my E and then I'm going to move around it because that's probably the easiest thing to do especially considering I don't have a ruler which wow I should feel super brave not having a ruler okay so I'm having my E this is going to be my top part and the nice thing about the Xyron is um, you, there's a little bit of forgiveness in the Xyron. And when I'm done with letters, I need to show you how to do the bottom. This is probably the worst video I've done. Bear with me all. The struggle is real. We have... And give it a little bit of a that the nice thing about that grid is it's super easy to get my my letters straight with it like that because I've got that grid up at the top we have and there's my now my grid is gone I'm kind of missing it
beautiful. Okay, so now that I have my letters, everything else can fall into place. So this is going to go super quick. All right, so I am going, my 3 by 7 piece is kind of the basis, so I am going to set this down. I'm going to put it underneath the awl. I also have grid down here. Oh, I was going to show you how to do it. So the next thing that I'm doing, see, see on the bottom how I have, I'll make sure that you can see what I'm doing. So this is, I'm going to line up the bottom, and remember I had my, I, I placed uh, a two inch on the back, so I am, and I glued the top of it, but not the bottom, and I'm going to tear like that, and see, I'm doing my white core, and I'm just tearing along, and that is going to expose white core, and it also has that fun stripe, so I have the stripe in a variety of places, and that will be great. So I will not sew on the layout until um, I always am going to have, um, I'll do the video and then I'll have still shots, which will always be on my business page. Um, oh, that did not. I'm kind of, okay, I'm gonna have to work at that a little bit. See how the, the paper, I glued it a little bit too much and then you can't see the stripe, which is kind of makes me sad and looks a little bit on the weird side. So when you're doing this, you want to make sure that you're not um, taping all the way to the bottom. I got a little aggressive with my taping. And then, so I'm just going to tear that till You just need to see a little bit of it because it's supposed to look kind of rugged. Okay, so back to my 3x7 piece. I'm placing that a half an inch over here. And here I go. And the, let's go back to our, and then see how the red comes up. Oh, that one, I might, I'm going to lower this a little bit because it's supposed to be a little bit higher than the other one. That's a little bit lower than I would have liked, but I'm not going to change it now. And this is going to come up a little bit. It's going to come right out onto the, the title. You'll notice that that's, I've used the same stripe, the stripe is on one side and the, so it's two-sided paper. And then I have this right here. Okay. Let's see what else we can do. This might be a little bit more distant from the sketches that I have done. I'm going to, you see how the hearts come across here like that? And I will be sewing on those. So, the next I'm going to put the, the doily down. And the doily, these guys are adults. I'm sure they don't mind. So, if you see them. Okay. So, um, I'm going to have that go a little bit so the doily is sticking out. I want it to come out this little bit side like that. This doily is was on clearance. I don't know if it's on clearance now or not, but it was originally from the Hope and Kindness, and we're having a president sale as we speak, and um, this one is on sale. So I'm going to put their picture on the doily because I want my hearts to come across like this. So I'm putting the picture down. Oops, and I actually was a little bit too aggressive with my tape because, remember, we're doing tags underneath. So the tags are going to go right here. And um, um, probably, yeah, well, we're just, okay. the tags kind of have a long tail. 
These were, um, I think this was out of the build a tag set, which I've used. I, I like to overlap them. So I'm going to overlap them like that. You could put journaling on it. So what I should have done is put foam tape all the way around and had the tags come in and out. But um, that will be for another day. Okay. So then the other thing I want to do is I want to show you this cute little um, envelope. So the, the paper pack that I'm working with again today is Love Notes. And it is on special. It's a... They used to call them constant camp campaigns, but it's the special of the month. Well, actually, I think it was the special of last month. And so you can have this cute little envelope. Um, it's a die cut, and it came in a bundle with the paper and the stamp set and all, all the things. So I'm putting this and see how it has love notes. So this couple, they dated in high school, and... Um, their kids are on the other side of the page, and it's, it's their, them being adults now. So what my suggestion to them is, is if they have any notes that they wrote each other when they were in high school, um, we'll stick them in here and call it good. So um, you don't ever want to leave your tags naked. Ah, naked. Naked tags, I'm sure, you know, in the 70s we streaked, but um, now we just don't want to have our tags to be naked. So um, I just tied that off and then this is embroidery floss because that's what I could find. And um, I did um, cut this tag. It's shorter than it needs to be because it's inside of a pocket and you won't see it anyway. So then we're gonna do the embellishment. I'm not for sure how much embellishment we're going to do because this is already 22 minutes. Woo, this is a long one. Okay, so I'm going to put the envelope at the side. And we're going to have hearts all come down and be flowing out of the love notes. Um, but before we do that, oh, I gotta go get back to my sketch. So there is not room. They had hearts right here, but I have tags, so I'm not gonna do that. But I, what I'm gonna do instead is I am going to just put all these hearts like they're coming out of the envelope. I saw this from another consultant, and I thought it was so cute. So we're just going to make the the hearts just flowing. Your heart is overflowing with love. So I'm going to add all those hearts and I will, um, because it's late and I'm getting very sleepy and, and the video is getting long, I will not bore you by having me place all these hearts. Um, so I will arrange these all and then I will show you a still shot. So this is Day 14, I did stay kind of close to the sketch. I don't like how those hearts are going, so I will definitely do something different on those. And the title was supposed to have hearts crossed, but we just kind of ran out of room. So anyway, um, so this is the two-page layout. I think it does look like it was made to be together. Um, I will slide it over a little bit farther so you can see. how it was together. So I will change the hearts so that the hearts are coming out. I'll have them cascading down. Um, and the other thing that I did was I added, um, from last time, was I added the hearts up at the top. So you have the two parents and the three little hearts for the kids. So anyway, so this was day 16 and day 14. And hopefully, um, Tomorrow I might be on day number 18 if all goes well and the creek doesn't rise. And hopefully I, I am, my thing that I'm trying to learn this week, every week I try to learn something new. Um, I want to learn how to edit and cut out all the parts because this video should have taken 10 minutes and it took 24. So anyway, 
um, have a great day and I will give you still shots tomorrow and you can see how it looked when it was finally done. Um, remember, if you are a part of uh, the little community that I have, um, we are doing um, today, this week is a free sketch. So um, be sure to turn in your sketches before 10 o'clock tomorrow. Talk to you later. Thanks. Bye.